Simon also John Mooney's had most of the strike it hasn't affected Kevin O'Brien he's played the same way and I just hope we see this through well why wouldn't you it was a piece of cake man <laughs> yeah well my mum and my grandmother would get these <laughs> now you, you've done all the hard work you've won the game all you've got to do is get over the line true, now true. don't tell me the leprechauns true. can't get over the line now you, <laughs> you've, you've murdered England absolutely murdered them in, in the part of the game when it was difficult when you had five down for next to nothing just over a hundred that was the difficult part now it's like Oh, my goodness me. Never thought I'd hear the day where you'd say that, Jeff. Yeah, I tell the truth. Everybody who hears me on radio, it doesn't matter whether it's England playing or Ireland or who. I mean, it's, it's easy from now, and it's a doddle. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Here we go. Anderson moves into bowl to the left-handed Mooney. Mooney gets one off the pad here on the onside. They'll want two. It's into a, a potentially a, a two-gap, but Broad races in, does well. So he's obviously recovered from that for now anyway that injury to his leg 19 to win from 17 balls just looking at who has overs to bowl Anderson's got three left so he can bowl this one and the last one if that's what England want Yard has got three left Broad has two left Bresnan's finished and Swan has finished Frankie the way that uh, left arm spinner of ours bowls they get them all down leg side it's been terrible today his accuracy will be down the leg side with nobody on the boundary behind square O'Brien on 110, three men on the leg side boundary, 19 to win from 17 balls, third man fine leg up, Anderson goes in, bowls, driven, powered down the ground by O'Brien, they jog through, just the one, he's a quite tired man I think uh, Kevin O'Brien, he's only been out there 61 balls. No way you're tired now Simon, but no he, way he you're just tired jogged now. to conserve some energy well, to the far the end. Thing. I, yeah. I think with pressure on both teams the last thing I'd be doing is jogging one down the ground listen what England need is a fifth World Cup hat-trick that's <laughs> their only chance let me tell you we've seen a couple we need another quick <laughs> where's Lassith Anderson when you need him now he could get a hat-trick I fancy him all the time with his Yorkers round down fast he comes from a funny funny way doesn't he a funny angle but I don't fancy our lot but 18 to win from 16 balls. Mooney on strike. Anderson bowls to him. Hits him on the pad. Sets it off with a single. It's not there. It's picked up by Strauss coming in from mm. mid-wicket. And there's no run. 18 to win from 15 balls. Well, it's... Even though the equation is very much in Ireland's favour, it's, in, it's inevitable there'll be nerves out there. But when you get this close, it's tantalising. You're not going to put money on England's side. No, no, I'm no, not saying no, that. I'm just even, saying for, you are even for Ireland. To Englishmen in England. I'm just saying it's bound, they're bound to be nervous out there. Anderson bowls to Mooney, gives himself some room, hits his high in the air, and he gets Safe. away with it. <laughs> Into the onside, it's ballooned in the air. It would have plopped down nicely from mid on. If he was up inside the circle, he's not. No, he placed it there. 17 to win from 14 balls. Yeah, just placed it, didn't it? Took one hand off the bat, it took the took the pace off the hit, and it just dropped nicely. O'Brien on 111 on strike. Still got these three men on the leg side boundary. Fine leg up, third man up. So anything that goes off the edge here is probably going to go for four. And Anderson mm. moves in. Bowls to O'Brien, and O'Brien. Clubs this down the ground for another single, and they jog through. 16 to win from 13 balls. How are you feeling, Alan? I'm feeling remarkably good at the moment. <laughs> Simon, um, you did talk about nerves and whatnot. How many times were you in these situations, Jeff? End of it? Quite these, a lot. Were you? Yeah. yeah. It's easy. You just got to get home. You just think, yeah, do this, no problem. Sure. Just play the same. Just well, play I, cool. Yeah. Don't do anything daft right. or different. You're playing well, so why change anything? If it's not broken, don't change it. Just keep going the same way. If it's up, well, you've hit it before, hit it. If it, you just play it for one, it's such a good pitch. And mm. That's the thing that's in their favour, It's not doing it? anything, yeah. you see. Yeah. Th this is it. If it was doing a bit for the bowlers, then it's a bit different. Last ball, the over comes up. Anderson bowls to Mooney. Swung away. That's going to be four. Out to deep, wicket. One bounce. No trouble at all. And you feel Ireland... Uh, very close now 12 to win from the last two overs four wickets in hand and Mooney goes to 28 that was his fifth boundary 
found it hard to get the ball away at the start of his innings, but now it's 28 off 28 balls. It's as good a pitch as I've seen for a while. It's pretty true bounce. It's not doing anything for the seamers. I saw Swan turn one, didn't he? I saw one turn one against the left-hander and get a wicket. But other than that, he didn't really. And he's a good spinner of the ball. He does spin it. And, and the damage is done. I mean, England's bowling in uh, three matches has been pretty poor. I'll come to that later. But, I mean, it's been really nothing to frighten anybody about. I think the most interesting thing, Geoffrey, is they've just bowled continual length, haven't they? Mm. You know, there's been... You know, there's been nothing ribs, there's been nothing really full, Yorkers, you know, the sorts of things that should be happening. Well, I don't think Broad could do much about it because he's so rusty where he can't get the ball in the areas he wants. He has the ideas of what he wants to do and he's been a very good bowler for England in one day. He's probably been as good as anybody, day in, day out over the, not this tournament, I mean, for a while in one day cricket. But, you know, we've been so rusty and not just the illness. He, you do need match bowling, like, you definitely do, and to get the ball in the areas you want, it's all right bowling in the nets, but I mean, if somebody smacks it in the nets, it just goes in the net, you don't know it's gone for four. And, and when you bowl in the middle and somebody hits you for four, then you've got to come up and run again, and bowl again, and you're thinking, oh, where shall I bowl? And the ball just doesn't go where you want it. You, it'll take him quite a few matches, he'll probably be bowling well by the time England miss out on the quarterfinals. <laughs> You know, the way they're going, I mean, it'll take him a few matches. Well, Jimmy's Jeffrey, ball better today. Well, Geoffrey, hopefully we'll be in them. And let mm. me tell you, if we win here today, what, it, what this victory will mean for Irish cricket, it goes beyond words. And maybe, at last, you've talked about the ICC. Well, maybe it's my turn to talk about the ICC. Because I think we've proved today we're worthy to play on this stage. And I think what we've got to do is we've got to keep fighting, keep battling to ensure that we do. But you've got to, you've got to turn in more and more good performances. That puts the pressure on them more than anybody. Broad's going to bowl to O'Brien. 12 needed from 12 balls right up in the block hole. Excellent delivery, but it's clipped into the onside. They might get two here. They're coming back for the second. The throw comes in to Pry. Whips oh. off the bales. He could be out. He dived to make his ground. What a throw. Brilliant throw over the top of the stumps. O'Brien dived to make it. Has he been given out? I think he is out. No, he's gone to the. He's gone. He's gone upstairs, has he? Let's have a look at the replay. It's coming in now, and that is out. So O'Brien's innings, brilliant innings, is over. What a waste! Oh. What a fantastic innings it's been, and what a superb piece of fielding has brought about its end. The decision is just going to be conveyed to the crowd. There we go. What a waste! It was a 12th man, wasn't it? I think I'll need to see the replay again. It all happened so quickly. There were three players sprinting towards it. And if it is Luke Wright, well, it just shows his yeah, it was Luke. value to the it team. It was definitely the 12th man. It, it, just the way he ran in and threw it. He threw it rocket flat straight over the stumps. Well, let's uh, acknowledge this brilliant innings from O'Brien. Kevin O'Brien run out for 113. He takes off his helmet. We can see his pink hair. And they're standing up all around the Chinnaswamy Stadium. One of the great one-day innings. Two of his colleagues have come down to pat him on the back. In fact, they're probably the, the 12th and 13th men who are down there, the ones that run out with the drinks. A stunning innings. 113 from 63 balls, a century off 50 balls. And he dragged Ireland back into the match when they were 111 for five. It's 11 to win from 11 balls. They got a single off that ball and they were run out going for the second. Six sixes and 13 fours. Television is giving that to Bresnan. Whoever it was, it was brilliant. Mm. I tell you what, we could just do with Mooney on 28 and are out to get out now. Then we've got a match, haven't we? <laughs> 11 with well, two wickets Jeffrey. and two new men at the crease. That would be good. That would be a bit like the England-India match. <laughs> Fluctuating up and down. It was just a risk not worth taking, Jeffrey. Correct. There was no point. I mean, he's the match winner. If he's there at the end, you cake water and, and you shouldn't have taken him on. Trent Johnston is the new batsman. Bags of experience and useful with the bat as well. And Stuart Broad is going to bowl to him. He's up to the stumps now. He bowls to Johnston right up in the block hole. Driven oh. away out through extra cover. This could be four. Dive from the fielder. It is four. Magnificent shot first ball. And it's seven to win from ten deliveries. And if England thought they were back in the game after that run out, 
Johnson has other ideas. He tried for a Yorker and he just got it a low full toss and it was hit. And that run out actually was a Bresnan. I've just seen Luke Wright feel that I thought it was Luke Wright down there, but it isn't. Luke Wright's on the offside. That was Bresnan. In interesting thing here, Simon. Trent, Trent Johnson was the man who scored the winning runs against Pakistan in 2007. So he's used to pressure situation. He's a very experienced player, but to get a ball like that and put it away with such a plum, really, we can't lose from here, Jeffrey, surely. No, you can't lose. You're all right. No Se problem. Seven to win from ten balls. Johnson's just hit his first ball for four. Broad is going in to bowl to him. He's up to the stump now. He bowls to Johnson, and he tries to play it down towards the third man and misses. That was very close to bowling. It was very close to the outside edge. You can see what he was trying to do. It's through to Pryor. It's a dot ball. Seven to win from nine balls. Oh, we've just seen that throw from Bresnan. It was terrific, right over the top. Pryor did well as well, just to take the ball back onto the stumps. It was the power of the throw. Mm, these big lads that can whack it in, and he just picked it up on the run, one-handed, and flung it in right to the top. Seven to win, nine balls. Broad balls to Johnson. That's uppish into the onside. They're going to get one. Are they going to come back for the second? Oh, they're coming. There could be a run out the far end if the throw's oh. strong enough. It's not. They're back for two. Well, Mooney came to the non-striker's end and Johnson wasn't alive to the possibility of two, but the throw Treadwell's onto the field as well. Sent in the return. That was a real soft throw. He made no effort to really throw it hard and run him out. It was a real lollipop, soft. And he got back, yeah. A really strong arm there, and oh. he would have been struggling getting how to the far some, end. How many subfielders of England on the field here at the moment? Well, they've got Wright and Treadwell on. I'm just trying to see who's off. I haven't seen Swan. I can't see Swan. Have you seen Peterson? Oh, it's Peterson. He could be off as well. Five to... <coughs> excuse me. Five to win from eight balls. One blow will do it now. Broad bowls. Johnson... Tucks it down towards fine leg for a single. Yardy sends in the return. And it's four to win from seven balls. 324 for seven. Johnston has used all his experience here. He's gone quickly on to seven. Just the right man to come in. Always get the total in the penultimate over. Do not leave it to the end. That was always my thought. I know we're chasing runs, county cricket, or test cricket, county cricket. You were always set targets. You, you know, in three-day cricket, you couldn't always bowl sides out. You had to set targets or chase targets, and you get it in the penultimate over. If you leave it to the last, needing four or five, all sorts of things can happen. Daft things happen. Run out. Do you outs. reckon boundary is the is the call here? Jim? If it's up there, hit it. Okay. If it's not, well, obviously, just, just take your single. But if, it, if it's there, yeah, cloudy. There's five in the circle, so there's a few gaps. Moon is on strike on 28. Four runs to win. Broad goes into bowl to him. It's right up there. It's driven into the offside, out towards the cover boundary. It will only be one. Bresnan sends in the return on the banks. We go to the final over. But if you'd offered Ireland this at the start, well, I'd have bought you Christmas presents forever. Well... Three to win from the last over with three wickets left. Did any of us think it, Simon? No. At the beginning of the reply, no. I shouted at the back of the box. Did you? It was at to Simon, but I, it was a bit tongue-in-cheek, though, <laughs> but Ireland to win. <laughs> I heard a rumour. I heard a rumour that Bumble had a bet that we wouldn't get 150. That's Did right, it? yeah. Well, he's, well he's he is mad <laughs> anyhow, so don't worry about that. But look... The one-day game has been going this way. Targets have been going up and up for a long time, and people are chasing them now. People are not frightened. You know, 270, 280, you're never safe. 290, and you're finding now that 300 is not phasing people anymore. If the pitches are that flat, they're getting better and better with covering and rolling. You know, they're much better prepared. And as I say, these heavy bats and that, the ball's whistling around. And because players play so much one-day cricket now, they get more chances to play, to, ch ch to chase after totals. So, therefore, they're not phased anymore. It's not new to them. It doesn't look so imposing. Last over, three to win. Mooney on strike. Anderson to bowl. He's in there now. He bowls. It's clipped away. Out towards deep midwick. It's going out towards the boundary. This could be it. They've run one. They've come back for the second. It's gone for four. Ireland have won. And bats are being thrown in the air. The Ireland team are running on. 
to hug the two batsmen out in the middle. One of the most incredible matches in the history of one day cricket. Ireland's greatest win. They've beaten England. England's World Cup future hangs in the balance. But what a day of celebration for Ireland. Amazing. They were 111 for five. They've won by three wickets with five balls to spare. Absolutely magnificent. Largely thanks to Kevin O'Brien with a bit of support from his colleagues. Cusack with 47 and Mooney and Johnston finished it off. A remarkable day in Bangalore. Well, Simon... I'm virtually in tears here and I can hardly speak. I just never thought that this would happen and it's just been the most incredible day in Irish cricket history. It's just the fashion of the victory, the way we won it, the way we went about it, the team spirit, the coming back at the you know the last seven overs restricted 49 for six wickets. We just stayed in the game. And the calmness and the assurance at the end. And and Jeffrey pointed to one day cricket. What we need is more of this. We need more of this. And the big difference for us is when it came to the end of the game, we now have 15 professional cricketers. That's the difference. They knew what to do. And if we've done anything today, I just sincerely hope we've woken the world up to say we can compete at this level. Well, they're standing up all around the Chinnaswamy Stadium. The Ireland supporters down beneath me, they're standing up and clapping and jumping up and down. The England fielders have long gone. They've slunk off. And there's Mooney there. He's got a stump. He's been hugged by his captain, Porterfield, who's out first ball in this Ireland reply. Hugs and kisses going on down there. Perhaps they can barely believe it themselves. All the more incredible because they were 111 for five. And this is the highest successful run chase in the history of the World Cup as well. And Ireland have done it against England.